Brescia Booking System Tutorial and Review. In this video, we're going to be talking about one of the best reviewing and booking apps out there, and it's called Fresha. And we're going to be going through the processes on how you can set up a booking for yourself and how you can get appointments booked for your business right now. So when you come to Fresha.com, you can see down here that there's tons and tons of different platforms that you can actually go ahead and book your appointments on. So there's, you know, different mall barbers, there's different salons, clinics. And if you move up here, there's different apartments, there's uh, different, you know, massages, whatever you want, you can book an appointment on these. Now, let's say if you want to go ahead and book something for a business that you're doing. So for that, what you're going to be doing is you're going to come over to the for business section. Now, once you go to the for business here, it says the number one software for salons and spas. So we're going to go ahead and click on join for free. And once you click on join for free here, it says sign up or log in. Now, it could either be for everyone where you can book salons and spas near you, or it could be for business to manage and grow your business. So I'm going to go for business. Now, once you go on for business, what we're going to do from there is here, it's going to say enter your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address real quick, just like that. And we're going to click on continue. Now over here, you're going to add your name and we're going to add a password for ourselves. So once you've added a proper coexisting password, we're going to click on create account. And once you click on create account, it's going to take you to the proper onboarding. Now it says, what's your business name? So you can go with anything. Let's say I'm going to write Deacon Massage and Spa. So once we write that in, you could add in your website as well. So people can be linked to your website. Now it says, what services do you offer? So I'm going to go with nail services, facials and skincare. Let's go with massage. And you could also go with the, any spa treatments like, uh, you know, I'm just going to add this over here. Now, once you've done all of that, you're going to click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, it's going to bring you here. So it says, what's your team size? This will help us set up your calendar correctly. Don't worry. This doesn't change the price. So I'm going to go with two to five people and I'm going to click on continue. Now, once you click on continue, it says, where is your business located? So you're actually going to add a business. Okay. So if you don't have a proper business location and if it's on mobile and online services only, you can go with this and click on continue. Now it says, which software are you currently using? for obviously your uh, bookings and also it could be booksy acuity square mind body over to whatever you have you're going to add it i'm going to go with i'm not using any software and you're going to do that in case you're not using anyone either so then this you could go with anything how did you hear about this just go with recommended by a friend and click on done now it says your business is set up now once your business is set up it's going to bring you so over here, as you can see, you have a setup guide where it says, hi, John, continue setting up your new account. So you can add the necessary details it asks, like adding your business address, adding your business website, setting up your service list, set up your team members, set up your working hours and a whole lot more. So you can go on and on with the setting up procedures. Then moving down here, we have different calendars to book things in. So just to give you the top of the cream, Let's say I want to book appointment at 5 p.m. You're going to click on this over here and here it says add appointment, add group appointment and add block time. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add appointment. Now, once you click on add appointment, you can add an appointment for different things. So it could be a manicure for 45 minutes, pedicure for 55 minutes, or it could just be a classic massage. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to click on save. So here we have an appointment, right? So it's a walk-in appointment that I've created for a person. You can add a client by clicking over here. And let's say we have this person as our client. So now we have an appointment from five to six of a classic massage by Jack Doe, just like that. And you can keep on adding appointments just like this. You can also change the calendar size. So per day, now it's per three days, and now it could be per week. Pretty simple, right? Now, moving on on the left hand side, here's the calendar for your appointments down here. You have the sales section. So these are the daily sales. These are the daily amount of sales you've done in, you know, one day, or maybe it could be in, uh, let's say a week or a month. It could depend on you. 
So you could add your daily sales over here, or if you are using, you know, fresh up from the start, those sales will be added as they go on. Moving on, you can also add in different analytics for appointments, add in a point, uh, different sales, payments, gift cards, memberships, and a whole lot more. Now, moving on, you have clients. Now, these are your clientele lists. Okay, this is where all of your clients that you're currently working with will appear. So we have Jack Doe, Jane Doe, John Doe, all of the clients that we're currently working with, they're all going to appear over here. And you can add more clients for yourself as well. So you're going to do that by clicking on add. And once you click on add, here it's going to give you your profile where it says manage your client's personal profile. So you can first of all give them an image if you want to, you can give them a name, email, phone number, and you know, all the basic stuff. Then you have addresses, emergency contacts, and then additional infos. So what kind of client are they? Are they walk-in or are they, you know, a recurring client? You know, do they have recurring services? Then moving on, there's the review section. So to boost your reputation and attract new clients, you're going to need trusted reviews. So what you're going to do is you're going to collect reviews by your clients. So when you export your Fresha onto the main setup by completing the setup section over here, what's going to happen is they're going to start giving you reviews. And the more better reviews you get, the better your business is going to run. And to get more leads and clients in, you can also generate forms for yourself through Fresha's software. Now, Fresha allows you to create forms pretty easily and simply. So let's say we're over here. I'm going to click on add and you're going to click on, let's say client details. I'm going to click on add section, section title. I'm simply going to give it my name and here are the detail fields that we need. So I'm going to click on add section and this creates a form. Now, once this form is created, you're going to click on next step. Consultation form name could be, you know, uh, what it is for your client. So let's say um, client information. You're going to write that in and this will let the client know that they're going to need to enter in their information. Now, this consultation form could be, you know, completed either before the appointment or manually whenever you decided to send it to your client. And once you've done this, you're going to click on save and this will activate your form right now. So once the form is activate, whenever someone sets an appointment with you, they're going to need to fill out this consultation form first. So that's pretty much it when it comes to forms moving on to catalog now catalog is the actual category of services and memberships that you provide to your clientele so you can actually use this feature to get a good idea of how you're going to be approaching your clients with the different types of working regimens all right and you can add more clients add more services and add more products for your inventory as well so pretty easy. Then you have online profile. Now, this is extremely important because your online profile, how you create it, how the images you add, the descriptions you add, the Google Maps location you add, all is very important because the better your online profile, the better your customers will be attracted. All right. Then you can also do a lot of marketing with your Fresha. Okay. So basically, if you want to set up automations, automations are basic AI uh, dedicated steps and uh, you could say procedures where if you put in a step for AI to do, it's going to do it for you in the background. Like you're not going to want to have to do it actively by yourself, which is pretty incredible. It's a great feature to have for yourself. So this is the main idea of Fresha. And this is how you are going to be setting up appointments for yourself. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. So that's pretty much about it for this video. Thank you for watching all the way till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.